And the next demo is Project Pacific. And Project Pacific is here to help you run Kubernetes natively in vSphere. So what you're seeing here is the native vSphere console, the same thing those 500,000 customers with all their admins are looking at on a daily basis. But now you'll notice something different. We're organizing these, these resources into namespaces. And you'll see here, if we click on one of these namespaces, you'll see all the pieces associated with that namespace. But more importantly, we can now start to set policy across an entire app namespace within the same console everyone knows and loves. Okay. So here, for example, we're going to go and set resource limits. Now, that's going to be set across all of the VMs and all the containers that are within that particular application, wherever they sit within this project. At the same time, down the bottom, you'll see a Kubernetes cluster. Let's click and have a look at the cluster in this namespace. Now, this is a console you'll all recognize. But on the left, it's looking a little bit different. Yep. What you're looking at here is a Kubernetes cluster in the vSphere console. And then underneath that, there's a VM. We recognize those at least, yep. right? This VM is the Postgres VM, the one that we've been building the whole time, the one that's going to sit behind your Tanzu TSAP. But right beneath that, there's a pod. There's a pod of containers in the same console. So what we're really doing here is saying, OK, we've got one place that you know and love that you can come back to, and you can now operate Kubernetes clusters, your VMs, and your container pods all side by side. And the really important thing to highlight here is those containers are running natively on ESX. They're not nested in anything else. They truly are first-class citizens once in that vSphere cluster.